So I'm gonna touch your hand lightly as I say this. You're failing at consistency, friend. But wait, most of us do ask me how I know. And this tool that I'm gonna share with you, this AI tool, yes, I said AI, it is so bomb. You have got to try it for yourself. But before you try it, I wanna walk you through exactly how I use it, how it's been keeping me consistent, and why I think this could be a complete game changer to your own specific content workflow. So you could take what I'm showing you right now and twist it up and turn it up and make it do what it do for you. But Let's get into it. Hey guys, hey, it is Zaley Barkley. You guys know how I feel about being confident on camera and being consistent on camera. I feel like they both go hand in hand because the more consistent you are, the more confident you become. Welcome to my channel. Today, I have to talk to you guys about cast magic. It's been such a game changer within my workflow. I'm gonna show you exactly how I get all of my work done. But even more than that, I'm gonna show you what makes this tool so genius and what makes it so easy. So if you are here and your ideas keep getting lost hear me out in your notes app <laughs> no more okay we are done with that if you are looking to build a business or build a content empire of your dreams or make more money in the online space you know that content is a huge part of it but what messes us up is that consistency when it comes to creating content and what i've been loving is being able to record my thoughts and ideas on my phone yes i said it on my phone and then that goes to this magical cloud on my computer where i can expand all of my thoughts and ideas so before with my notes app what would happen is i would type that in and when i type it into my phone it just gets lost no one ever sees the content ever again because it stays in the notes app when i'm excited and inspired and motivated and i never get to the part of execution and so with cast magic when i shoot my idea out into my phone. I talk it out into Where's my phone, by the way. Oh, let me get it. Alrighty, so when I shoot my idea out into my phone, it goes to the Cast Magic website. Let me take you on the back end so we could just make this more real and then I'll come back and show you like how I record my podcast episodes into Cast Magic and then upload it into Descript and create a fire, fire, fire episode as well. So first of all, yes, let, let's let's go to the back end. All right, y'all, so this is my phone and this is the Cast Magic app. Literally, it is so good. Now the app is a little, it's not complicated to find, but I will share instructions down below in the description box for you to get this because this app is just game changing. Now you can tap on recordings and you'll see like all of my recordings. Whew, let me tell you. So I can actually, if I have an idea, if I'm like on the way home and I have an idea and I'm in an Uber and I wanna make sure I document that idea, I'll talk it out here and I'll show you exactly where it goes in Cast Magic. But literally all you have to do is tap. And when you tap, it starts recording what you are saying. So right now it's actually recording what I'm saying. And all you have to do when you're done is hit stop. But I want to talk about pause. Like you can hit pause if you are, you know, talking to someone else or you don't want it to capture what you're saying in a specific instance. So you would hit pause and then, you know, you do what you're doing and then you come back and you hit resume or you can just hit stop. Now there's no limit, I don't think, as far as like how long this should be. But of course you wanna give yourself context and share your idea so that you have context to your idea as you are going to send it over to the actual app on your computer so i'm gonna hit stop here and then i'm gonna if you don't want to save it you just hit discard but i'm gonna hit save and then this is going to transcribe and it's also going to send over to my actual cast magic account on my computer and that's what i want to work through with you so i'll show you what that looks like now the other thing i do want to share is sometimes i actually record podcast episodes so this one was a podcast episode called cracking the algorithm and you can actually see the full transcript of what i was saying here so imagine how wild that is i think this is so helpful like look at this guys you're actually able to create content based on what you shared isn't that absolutely insane? Like you can do so much instant stuff in here. You can copy that, you can send it out to chat GPT, whatever you want to do, but I'll show you exactly how much more you can do in the app pretty soon. And you can also replay this on video podcast. So you can see that I just played that. I was actually 
uh, recording a podcast episode. Now, what I did to get even better quality with this is I connected my DJI microphone to my phone via Bluetooth. Y'all see my camera confidence cards here, of course. <laughs> and I actually recorded this specific episode with the microphone. So when I'm recording with the microphone, the quality comes out better. And then I take the audio, which is saved to my desktop. I'll show you what that looks like. And then I add it to Descript and use even more AI within my process just to get this done quickly and efficiently. All right, so let's head to the actual desktop app and I'll show you how much more Cast Magic can do. Okay, so here we are on the back end of Cast Magic. And and I am in my iOS recordings, right? So the piece of content that I showed you that I'm excited about editing is cracking the algorithm code. And this is the one that I recorded with my DJI microphone. Of course, you can use one of those microphones from Amazon or even your phone honestly has a really good microphone as long as you're in a soundproof room. For me, I was downstairs in my bedroom recording this, so it worked perfectly. And I love that I can get the full on transcript here in Cast Magic, right? Now, the cool thing about Cast Magic is that you are able to do so many different things. You are able to download the transcript. You're able to label the speakers. So for me, I have Zaley Barclay here. You're able to find and replace text. You're also able to edit that transcript. There's so many good things that you can do. But what I love within download transcript, you can download text. You you can download text with no timestamps. You can download original. You can download SRT, VTT, CSV, custom, whatever you need. So for me, I'm gonna download original here. I'm going to take that audio, make sure I download it, and now I am going to add it into Descript. Now I'm doing this so that, you know, other things with Cast Magic, this can kind of simmer and figure itself out. So I'm gonna hit uh, downloads, which is what I'm looking for, that audio, and I'm gonna drop it into Descript. Now that I've dropped it there, I'm gonna leave that to simmer for a bit, and I'm not gonna identify all of these things. Well, this is me, right? Silly Barclay, and then I'm gonna hit done, and that's gonna transcribe, and I want it to transcribe, so I'm gonna head back into Cast Magic. And I'm gonna show you also, you're able to use AI to do a bunch of things. Now you can do this in the app, but it's so much better on the computer. And I think the computer has more like capabilities or within the web browser, I should say, has more capabilities. And you can also magic chat. We'll get into that in a little bit because you can do a bunch of things with magic chat. But first of all, before I go any further, what I wanna take you into is pricing for Cast Magic. So they have a few different tiers and I want to show you this. So you can make the decision to decide if this would work for you or not. For me, I had to think, can I add another tool or software to my software stack? Because I have a bit of software in there. So for example, we have Hobby, which is 300 minutes per month. You have Starter, which is 800 minutes per month. And we have Rising Star, which is $2,500 per month. Uh, sorry, 2,500 minutes per month, right? I hope I said minutes for the, the others as well. So Hobby is $23, Starter is 59, and Rising Star is 179. Now I like to show monthly as well, just in case someone wants to see monthly pricing. I don't know why that is not doing the toggle right now, but in Hobby, you have unlimited users, you have 300 minutes to transcribe, you have unlimited file uploads, multiple workspaces, and all content outputs custom prompts and you have the app. So for me, I am using Hobby, I believe. I just needed the app, right? Now I got it to switch, monthly is $39. So I'm paying $39 for Hobby. Uh, starter would be $99. For me, I didn't need 800 minutes because I'm literally just to it. Sometimes I might pull in a YouTube video that I desire to recreate of mine, or I like putting in videos that did well for me and asking Cast Magic for ideas for more videos just like this. But of course I could use ChatGPT or something else for that kind of thing as well. So for me, I didn't really need agency support, which was the only thing that you got other than the iOS app. And of course I didn't need the rising star so for me hobby was really good and i wanted to test that and see if i was enjoying using hobby and i absolutely am 
So for me, I don't need too much. I just need to be able to expand on my ideas. So now that I have this transcript that is here, I am going to download the audio like I just did and make sure that it is in Descript and you can see here that it is. Now the cool thing about Descript is that I can put studio sound onto this so that it sounds even better. Of course, inside of Descript, you can edit for clarity, you can add studio sound, which I just spoke about. You can even remove filler words. And that just makes me relaxed when I'm talking and sharing the content within Cast Magic in the app because I know that I can remove and edit and clean things up inside of Descript. And the quality transfers over to Descript as well. So for me, I love that I found a way to just record ideas on the go and not only ideas but full-blown podcasts if I desire. Now inside of Descript you can click on certain parts and I can record and add ideas and thoughts into this if I felt like when I'm editing I need to say something or add something. If you listen to my podcast I'll hop in and say hey future Zaley here. I wanted to give some context to what I said before and this is exactly how I'm going to do it. So you know, you're able to do things like that. So I am so happy about that. I can still plug the same microphone into the computer and get the same sound basically. And for me, being that I'm able to do this on my laptop, that makes it easy to do this on the go again, right? So that is how I have been recording some of my podcast episodes. For me, if you know, you know that I love recording and putting some podcast episodes on YouTube, but sometimes I just wanna get in my audio bag and speak to the people that listen to my podcast directly. And so some episodes for me are only audio episodes. So I wanted to be sure to share that. Now let's go back into Cast Magic. This is the last thing I wanna speak about because it is so good. Now in here, you have prompts. Some of them are already preloaded, I should say. So if you upload or if you record a piece of content, you have some prompts that are preloaded in here, like the one sentence summary, which I love. And I love this one because sometimes I just have a brain like blast and I just wanna speak into the app and just say what I have to say. But this kind of helps me rein things in and summarize it. And so I absolutely love that one sentence summary because it lets me know where I was heading or what I was thinking about when I created that piece of content. Seven key themes. I mean, this is great for if you want just a summary of what you spoke about or really like things that you really want to amplify. You can share this as well. You can copy this for a newsletter. Of course, the other thing is keywords. Like imagine it pulling keywords for you automatically out of what you put in there. I think this is so genius. And of course we know that SEO is so powerful and important, even though lots of creators ignore it, platforms are paying attention to SEO even more these days, I feel like. And then we have a timestamped overview. This is another thing that you can literally copy and put into a newsletter as you repurpose. Now, one thing that I've been loving here is the quotes, because sometimes when I'm flowing and I'm, I'm just in my zone and I'm recording, I'm not thinking about things that I'm saying that could be amplified. And I feel like these can be used on graphics, on Instagram, and they can be pulled out and put it on threads. You can do so many other things with this as well. So I think it's so amazing to actually have it. P.S. Some of these preloaded things are in the app as well. I believe most of them are in the app. And I love that because sometimes I'm on the go with my phone. Sometimes I'm walking on my walking pad with my phone and I love that I can copy these things and just throw it onto threads as well. Like for me, that is really, really important. And there's a bunch of other stuff that's preloaded as well. Now for the magic chat, I'm telling you, this is so good. First of all, there are other preloaded prompts, quote unquote, inside of the chat, like 10 lessons covered in the event or three fun facts revealed in this recording. Let's do this one because sometimes I like, it kind of tells you about yourself, right? So I did that one and it said, Zaley Barclay is the host, a 38 year old millennial who compares modern algorithm use to the hip hop concept of biting from in her day. <laughs> That's funny because I was saying that the algorithm is basically 
picking a topic and kind of expanding based on what someone is saying. Of course, we know that there's the whole, you know, copying, who's copying, who's not copying, who's just inspired. When we think about Nara Smith and what she's been doing with the Marc Jacobs campaign, there's so much going on there. So I was explaining the algorithm based on these things. Also, it says she created the camera confidence cards initially for herself to boost self-esteem and then release them to the public. And that is true. So that's something that I did share inside of that bit. And it's a fun fact that's in there right that I may not think about sharing I do share it because it is true that's how I created my camera confidence cards and also algorithms encourage creators to follow trends al allowing them to do so in their unique way to tap into a broader audience and I did speak about that as well but of course there are other things that you can put inside of cast magic or you can literally speak to it and ask like who is the person that would need this the most or you can literally chat with it and it is is pretty accurate of course you just have to understand how to speak to AI and how to get your conversation going with whatever piece of artificial intelligence you are using the last thing is the studio I haven't really used this that much because to me it wasn't that great but maybe it will get better um, it is really like painting a picture or a photo of what you spoke about or your content idea kind of it's I could see it kind of being like Canva maybe in the future. I could be wrong there. So please don't quote me on that. I haven't played with that enough, but guys, I needed to come on and share all of this with you guys. Are you sold yet? I have a link for you down in the description box. So if you know you wanna get access to this tool, I wanna to make sure that you head down below because hello. Okay guys, how cool was that? Thank you for sitting with me and going through my full on workflow with AI and seeing the two tools that I use. Like I said before, sometimes my process just ends at cast magic and sometimes i create a full-blown podcast with it if i'm on the go and i pull it into descript and i edit and take things out i mean you can say ai is the most horrible thing to ever happen but for me i really love ai because it makes my workflow so much easier and that's the way i like to use it you don't have to use it to you know be a whole different person or steal someone's content or be somebody else there are so many benefits to ai and i want to make sure that i'm amplifying and sharing some of those on the channel because we definitely use it on the back end of our business as we build. So if this video was interesting to you, I wanna make sure that you are subscribed. Hit that subscribe button. I don't know why you're not subscribed yet. <laughs> if you're not, just do so. And if anything was helpful for you in this video, let me know down below. If you have questions about the software, let me know down below as well. I enjoyed sharing this with you. I want you to let me know what you wanna see next on the channel. Thank you so much for being here. Talk to you soon. Bye.